So Becky is here with us today. And uh, so Becky, how old were those dishes? Well, they've been in my family for a long time. Um, one of the plates is dated 1876. Wow. And the white china, um, my mom bought three sets for myself and two sisters in Germany when we were stationed there over 40 years ago. 40 years ago, wow. So, so those old. are pretty old. So like I said, you know, anything before 1971, even if it's made in the USA, is going to have lead in it. And then re more recent dishes, if they're from overseas, they might. So you really, really got to be careful. But the, the easiest thing to do is just test for them. It's so easy. So I'm going to actually show you guys at home just how easy it is. I bought these little testers at the hardware store. And you just activate it, give it a little crush, give it two little shakes, just give it a little squeezy here. Oh, there we go. And you start rubbing it. You rub it for about 30 seconds. And, uh, you know, it's so important because lead can cause a really lot of problems in, in the body. And kids and adults, it causes uh, weight loss, fatigue, irritability, developmental problems. Um, even reproductive problems mm -hmm. in, in moms, and that's a big deal. So Lead can almost, affect almost anything in your almost body. Almost every organ in your body. Particularly if you reach a toxic level, which mm -hmm. is really easy to do with small children. Yes, right. So what are you looking for with this What test? we're looking for is a pink or reddish color. And that means good, no lead? No, no, that means lead. That means lead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're actually hoping not to have... Right, we're hoping not. ...have that color. And then is a negative, it doesn't change color at all? No, the negative actually stays more of a yellow. Okay. Okay, okay and as you can see, it's been, we've been doing about 30 seconds now, and it's definitely looking, you've got a pink color right there. Now, I'm going to compare to one that I did on a plate without lead, and you can see the difference there. The yellowish brown is negative for lead, and that pink color is, means that there is lead in this plate. Lead is seeping into that food, and then your kids are eating it. Mm -hmm. And that means this plate needs to not be used anymore for food. <laughs> it needs to become a decoration on the wall. I mean, it's a beautiful exactly. plate. Which is really what, isn't that the whole yeah. idea of antique plates anyway? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a beautiful decoration. And <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Maybe we, should stay we there, need right? to use the newer plates. The newer and, ones. You know, and that new set you have actually was negative for lead. So keep right. using those, that's great. Now, what about your pots and pans? All right, especially that non-stick coating that can, that can uh, kind of wear that... off, you know, and there's, there's a lot of toxic chemicals in there and, and they've actually been linked to uh, things like increased cholesterol in kids uh, for what reason we don't really understand yet. But uh, by the year 2015, uh, all the companies are going to be required to not use those toxic chemicals in the nonstick pans. So until then, there's a few tips you need to, to uh, stick by. First, never preheat a nonstick pan on a stovetop without any food in it on high, all right, because it just gets too hot. You want to keep you want to try to cook at the lowest temperature possible, and also never put a nonstick pan in the oven over 500 degrees. And when you're cooking on the stovetop, even if things aren't smoking, you should use the, uh, the over oven fan because that'll take some of those fumes from those chemicals out of the air. What, about, right? what about washing in the dishwasher? Everyone always asks that question. Yeah, you know? I'm never allowed to wash those in the dishwasher. <laughs> you know, I think the, the directions say don't do that, so I just, you know, hand, hand wash all my nonstick. I know that I'm going home to throw away one of my nonstick pans that have some marks <laughs> in it. Out of curiosity, yeah. will these work on, for instance, if you have a toy yes. from some other country, you're worried if there's lead, mm -hmm. can you try this trick on yes, that as well? Yes, they'll work on toys, tools, it. paint chips even.